Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again and this is tutorial number three. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about NG View and Route Provider to create our very first single page app. So a single page app is one that the client is able to navigate your website without any kind of refreshing of pages or anything like that. We're gonna be able to simulate that by using Angular routes uh, to provide uh, the client with partial HTML pages each time they click on a new link or something like that. So a new partial page is loaded up seamlessly every time they click a link. If that sounds a little bit complicated to you, don't worry, we're gonna start you off at the basics. So the first thing to do when creating an Angular application single page app is to actually create the app in JavaScript using Angular. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new file in our public JS uh, directory and call it app.js. Inside here, we're gonna define the module or basically the application uh, for Angular. So we're gonna do a variable my app equals angular.module. And we're telling Angular that the module or the app that are basically our app name. So um, here we'll say just my app is the app name. And then these are dependencies uh, that we're going to inject into our application. Uh, so the only dependency we're gonna use currently is called ng route. And this is uh, basically what we're gonna use for routing. Uh, so next, we are gonna configure our Angular routes. So below here, we're gonna do config, and we're gonna configure our dependencies that we've injected. So we uh, brought in ng route, and one of the dependencies or things we can configure in that is called route provider. Uh, so in order to config that, we have to say route provider, and it's actually in brackets here. And then the next part is a function that takes in the route provider, provider, and it, then we can configure the route provider inside here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, route provider dot when, so when somebody navigates to slash page one, um, we're going to tell them to load the template uh, template URL partials slash page one and this will be in quotes here so that's our first route and then we can also just copy this and do page two. And then finally, we can do route provider otherwise. And then it, ta it says uh, redirect instead. Let's see if we can get all this in here. Redirect to. and it can just be slash home. So we will save that and go ahead and create those partial pages so we can create a new file. Um, and actually these are .html. So let's change those, .html, save that. So we're gonna create a new file called page1.html and we're gonna create a new file called page2.html save that okay so now in here we're just gonna put in some basic HTML or you can I'm just gonna put in plain text um, this is page two save that and this is page one and save that so now we're gonna get to our home page here and we're gonna find a place to load our partial views into. This is gonna be the majority of our content of our website. So anybody, anytime anybody clicks a link, uh, this area of the website will uh, 
automatically load without actually refreshing the page. It'll just re it'll just bring in that data and uh, show it to the user without a refresh. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, right below our little nav bar here, our container that we've created. We need to redo this website completely, but this is for just testing purposes here. So uh, div um, ng view directive. That's gonna tell Angular uh, that this is where we're gonna be placing our partial views. Um, we'll save that, and then now we need to bring in our libraries. So if we go back up to our app.js file, you'll see that we ha we have the dependency ng route, but we actually don't have the file yet. So we need to go out and get the file so uh, Angular knows uh, where ng route is. So it's gonna be Bower, go to your console here, install Angular route, and then save that to our Bower file. This is uh, um, the benefit of Bower if you haven't checked that out that tutorial out go ahead and do that now we'll save that um, and now we'll go back into we should look into our uh, library folder and see if it is it's here so the file we're looking for is angular route so now let's go down to our home page here and do a script source equals libs angular route and then angular route.js script. Now also we need to bring in our actual uh, app.js file. So back down here it will be script source libs. No, it's not libs, it's uh, js app dot js script and save that finally up at the very top here we since uh, we've already we've named our app now we need to tell it specifically which uh, module we're using so we've called it my app we can save this and then go ahead and restart our server and see what happens here so go ahead and refresh our page and it looks like we have an error because this is not working. So let's hit F12 if you're in Chrome to open up our developer tools. And oh, looks like we have some errors here. So uh, unexpected bracket on app.js. So okay, let's go to our app.js file here and it looks like we added I added one extra bracket here so let's save edit that and save it and then ref the server will restart now let's reload that okay that looks good so there we go now what if we click on page one not working and that is because Angular has basically hijacked our route. So when we look at it up here, we see that it's trying to redirect to some hashtag slash home, um, even though we are attempting to navigate to slash page one and slash page two. Um, in order to fix this, we need to bring in one, or we need to configure one more thing. And so we're gonna configure our location provider. And then provide it to our function here. Location provider. And then down here, we're going to config it location provider uh, dot HTML5 mode. And then we're going to enabled is true and require base is false. We're going to save that and let our server restart here and then refresh and see if we get any errors. So we do get an error. Let's see what's going on. And it's because we don't have the M in mode capitalized. I wish you guys knew how long it took me to debug that. That was a ridiculous amount of time. Let's so, so let's save it, restart our server here. And now we can click page one and page two. You can see this all updates here, the actual ng view uh, where we've uh, set our partials is changing. And you'll tell, and you can tell that there's actually no page loading. 
Another interesting thing is, like I said, Angular hijacks our routes when uh, the routes match our route provider page one and page two. So you can look at our server um, and see that nothing is actually getting sent to the server because Angular is basically handling that for us. If we actually typed up here uh, page, page two, uh, then we would get redirected to our home page because that's our default for the server route. Uh, but as long as we're doing it in um, Angular down here, um, we can go page one, page two, page one, page two without any kind of uh, server intervention. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any questions, concerns, or comments, go ahead and put them below. Um, if you like this tutorial, uh, if you learned something, um, you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. So really quick, I noticed something kind of cool when I was editing the video. It's that when I start typing in slash P, um, it actually down here in the server area it already loads profile and that is something that that's a chrome thing preloading uh for efficiency so before you i ever even uh type in page um two it's actually already indexing downloading and having a a request for a profile uh just something uh it's kind of neat